So welcome to the first series, uh, first of a series of videos um, on uh, on data analysis. So we'll be following um, the textbook by Taylor uh, pretty closely, I guess. Um, and probably it's going to be relatively small um, videos. I, I'm aiming to keep these in the order of a couple of minutes each, um, and then we'll put them in a in a, a playlist pl playlist on YouTube for you to watch. So. Um, yeah, we'll start with uh, essentially error analysis, um, propagation of, of errors, or um, what we'll actually call them more correctly is uncertainty. Uncertainty. So not error, but uncertainty. Um, why uncertainty? Because error actually has a specific meaning. Um, and in this case, um, so it makes sense to, to kind of define a few things here. Um, so if we make a measurement, we measure a, a value, a measured value x, for example, whereas the, the true value, which we're after, is, let's call it x star. So let's say you're measuring the length of a piece of string. Um, there's some true value for the length of the piece of string, but when we measure something, we don't necessarily get the true value to the to the perfect precision, but we'll measure something else that is that is slightly different. The difference, x minus x star, that is the error of the measurement. Um, and so, whereas this is the error, um, the uncertainty is, and the uncertainty is of course what we will want to analyze or to determine, is an estimate of the error estimate of the error or at least the magnitude of the error approximately um, and of course this is this is has to be an estimate because in many cases when we measure something we don't know the true value um, of what we're trying to measure otherwise we wouldn't necessarily be measuring it and so there's different ways in which we can list this this uncertainty on our measurement um, we can do this explicitly implicitly so um, in terms of, of implicit listings or implicit statements of the uncertainty, uh, we have significant figures. So if you list a value, um, let's say you list the value x is 0 0.5, then implicitly you've said that x is in the interval 0 0.45 to 0. 55, right? Actually, in many cases, um, in terms of rounding, um, we'll even exclude the 0 0.55 here, because that would be rounded to 0 0.6. Um, so that's an, an implicit statement of the um, of the uncertainty in this uh, in this value. Um, there's explicit sa statements of the uncertainty. Um, one of them is, of course error bars or margin of error and I'll try I'll put these in quotes here because I'll try to avoid talking about error in this sense because error as we see here um, has a very specific meaning namely the difference between the measured value and the actual true value um, but what are error bars well if we list that x was measured to be 0 0.5 plus or minus 0 0.03, um, which you know there's there's certain assumptions in this uh, in this um, this notation, which we'll come back to later. But that uh, indicates that x is likely the true value of x is likely in the interval 0 0.47 to 0 0.53, right? So 0 0.5 plus or minus 0.03. Um, so we'll, we'll start um, by talking about this in a fairly generic sense um, where this is, you know, a interval um, or this is a interval where it's likely that the true value is in um, and we're not going to start defining what it means with likely, what we mean with likely until um, until we get to the next uh, next couple of uh, chapters, I think chapter three or so. 
Um, this is one example of an explicit statement on the uncertainty. Another explicit statement is when we list a confidence level or, or an interval associated with a confidence level. Um, so we could say, for example, that we have 95% um, confidence or a 95% confidence level um, interval uh, between 0 0.48 and 0 0.54. So now we know that with 95% confidence or um, in 95% of the, the cases, um, not mathematically correctly stated here, uh, but 95% of the time, uh, the true value of x will be between 0 0.48 and 0 0.54. Um, so these are confidence intervals, ranges. Um, you'll see the letter CL um, for confidence level listed there as well. So now um, let's look at a couple of examples. So let's say if, or I guess two examples. So if x is, uh, let's say, 2.3 miles that's our um or measurement if the true value x star is 2.347 and so on and so on miles then what do we know well the error of our measurement x is 0 0.47 and so on and so on miles so that's the error we made in that one measurement um, and based on the implicit use of uh, significant figures, the uncertainty that we've associated to our, or associated with our, our measurement of X is um, that the actual measurement is between 2.25 and 2.35, right? Um, so that's the, and, and as you can see, the, the actual true value happens to fall um, inside that interval um, very close to the to the higher end, but it does fall in that interval. Um, if we are using this kind of implicit notation based on, uh, on, on significant figures, then we do have to watch out. Um, if we write, for example, that x is 100 miles, some measurement um, of distance, uh, does that mean that x is in the interval 99.5 to 100.5 or does this mean that we actually meant to write x is 1 times 10 to the 2 miles um, and x is actually in the interval 0 0.5 to 1.5 times 10 to the 2 miles. I should write my units here too. So those are of course very different um, concepts and so this indicates that um, relying on the uh, the implicit use of significant figures presents some risks and so um, at least I would prefer this notation even if it seems a little bit extraneous to use uh, to use the scientific notation there. But of course, there's the way that we can be explicit about it, and that's probably what we're going to do in this course mostly. Um, and that's when we write x is 100 plus or minus 0 0.3 miles, which indicates that I actually knew the uh, the distance even more precisely than in the case uh, on on the left there. Okay, so that's the first video. Um, just talking a bit about uncertainty as different and as an estimate of the error that we in inevitably make when we make a measurement, um, the error being the difference between the measured value and the actual value.